What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, today is a, uh, a very interesting day for WWE. Um, today marks the end of an era for the company. Endeavor closes the deal tomorrow. So, uh, this will be the last Monday Night Raw that the McMahons will uh, essentially have complete control over WWE. Um, but before we get into this article in this video, uh, today is September 11th, so I want to uh, give my thoughts and prayers to everyone that was affected uh, by the events of September 11th. Uh, 11th, never forget those who uh, died and perished um, to some evil acts and those who risked their lives and put their lives on the line to save those that were in need. So I, I just wanted to put this out there. I vividly remember September 11th as a kid and just, you know, how how it, it really it really shook the nation, what we saw and what we witnessed. So prayers and, and thoughts goes to those family members, even though it was many years ago, you still, you know, for those who lost someone that they loved and cared on those flights uh, in the Twin Towers, um it still still affects them to this day so my prayers and thoughts and condolences to those that were affected by september 11 so we're gonna get right into this one all right let's get right into this article pw insider notes that today marks the end of an era for wwe as the company deal with endeavor is expected to close tomorrow this means that tonight's raw will be the last one under the total ownership of the mcmahon family endeavor will own 51 percent of tko tomorrow and uh the new company that merges uh wwe and ufc Ari Emanuel will be the CEO, although Vince McMahon and Triple H are both expected to have major roles in the company. The man has already announced, uh, uh, was already announced as the executive chairman of TKO. This is also the last day that WWE stock will be traded publicly under those initials. The new company will be uh, traded publicly as TKO WWE first went public on october 19th 1999 man that's that's crazy that is very crazy um i know we had talked about this endeavor stuff earlier this year and now that they're merging with the ufc it's going to be very interesting to see what happens and if there's going to be any noticeable changes on the weekly program now i don't think it's going to be anything i guess you could say too soon I, I i think they're gonna probably start implementing different things going forward but it's gonna be quite interesting to see that if they want to go in a different direction essentially they can now granted i don't know how much control triple h will have over what we see on television as much in the same way with i don't know how much control i'm sure vince will have a lot of a lot to say what we see on television but it really comes down to triple h's you know power and what he will be able to do going forward me personally I, I just truly wish that it would just be more or less triple h kind of running what we see on the day-to-day -day television when it comes to the storyline the matches the feuds and kind of vince handle the business aspect of it making sure the business continues to grow as that's been his you know objective for many many years and he's done so successfully i wish that was the case but I do think Vince will still have some major involvement in what we may see going forward storyline wise, depending on, you know, what he sees should be happening on the television. But once again, this is interesting because now you have an outside source that potentially may have a say so in what goes on and, and what they may want to see on the product which means there may be more opportunities or more situations where we have matches that are sponsored by other different brands and i really want to see how it's going to be really integrated with the ufc how is that going to work out i don't know it's going to be quite interesting so comment down below let me know do you guys think this is a good idea that wwe is going to be moving forward um with endeavor and how things are going to be playing out or do you guys feel like the mcmahon's and vince should still be 
in control majority of the company let me know how y'all feel about this do you think there's going to be a positive change on the television product a negative change or you don't think it's going to really change much on what we see on uh wwe television at all let me know down below i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all keeping me see y'all next one peace